Okay, so how did I create this example lesson? Let me uh, exit the program, and I will just show you. Uh, the example lesson is created in the IO Lab uh, folder. So if I go to Documents, I get to this IO Lab Work Files folder that's, that is placed there by the software. And I've created a folder here just called Lesson. And anything that's in this Lesson folder or beneath it in any subfolder with an HTML um, extension on it is assumed to be a lesson. And that's what's displayed uh, when I bring it up. And uh, we can look at this lesson just so you can see what it looks like. Here we go. Uh, so that entire lesson was just defined step by step by this HTML code. And it's not a very long piece of code. There's actually 14 steps here. So these 14 steps that begin and end with the word slide. Each one can display an image. Each one can have controls uh, for the chart and for the data acquisition part. You can ask questions. It's all defined in here. So it's very easy to create these lessons. Uh, what about the images? How did I create those nice pictures? Well, that was easy too. It's just PowerPoint. Here's a PowerPoint uh, presentation that will look familiar. This is exactly all the slides that were shown in that lesson. And all I have to do is create these pictures in PowerPoint and then just say uh, export. And it, it puts them into that images folder in exactly the format I want. That's all I got to do. Okay, so that's how I create a lesson, and I showed you how I played the lesson, and that will be the functionality of the lesson driver.